What's up guys? Mr. Lee Redman here with a new series. This will be another unemployment challenge but with a bit of a twist. Uh, essentially I have found a database on FM Scout where somebody's gone in and they've basically added a load, I think it's about 60 or 70 non-playable divisions. As you can see I've got most of Europe um, there. I, have, I, I can see Obviously, a couple of European nations are missing. Um, five in total. Obviously, Liechtenstein doesn't have a league. Your San Marino, your Malta. Um, there's a couple of others, but I can't really work it out off the top of my head. To be fair, actually, there's not. There's four. So I've um, obviously got. Well, actually, there is five. But I missed Bosnia. Um, what I'm going to do, guys, essentially, is I'm going to do unemployment challenge but one in each continent so in Africa and Asia one in Europe one in North America one in South America and another one in Oceania because this person does have quite a few as I said um, leads leagues updated most of Europe is there about 20 from Asia 30 from Africa the f missing four from South America are there as well and I think there's about 20 in North America, which is pretty cool. Uh, but I'm only going to do it at the nations that are not normally playable. So what I'm going to do, guys, is we'll just go through. Just make sure we've got all leagues selected possible. Quite like the fact they've got... Oh, my God. Quite like the fact they've got their, their actual names in most of them. Um, Gibraltarian, I like that. That's not where I want to go, Gibraltar. I gotta be honest. Um, so yeah, all leagues are possible. Add players to available teams, and we're going to put a large database. We're going to start it there, guys. So it's twenty-five leagues in total. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to pause it here, get it all loaded up, and um, just show you some stuff there some some stuff in the file because um not only did he actually do this lad do um the 70 odd leagues he's also done quite a few international and continental cup competitions um there is only two in europe the majority of them seem to be africa and asia there is two um there may be the possibility you've heard of one of them the other one i haven't really heard of so i'll show you those in a minute show you all the jobs available and stuff like that and then um, we'll get going after that. But I will be back in two seconds, guys. Right, and guys, we are back. So here we go. Here's all the leagues: Albania, Andorra. I'm trying to think of who those nations are that are missing. So there's Malta, um, Liechtenstein, San Marino. I suppose I can just name them all in a minute. To be quite honest with you, it'd be so much easier. Um, so there's quite a few there, and there's also the nations. Once you can be Gibraltar. I, I have done one as Gibraltar got absolutely trouched everywhere. But I think I might have a different idea. But if, uh, start employed, confirm it. Uh, we will save it there. Did do a test run on it. Unfortunately, it didn't quite work out to plan because um, I think I had a slow problem with it. But we'll save it there. when it actually bothers to. There we go. So there we go guys. Um, there are the places. Let's have a look at some of the jobs available. So you've got quite a few in Bosnia, Estonia, Moldova as well. I wonder, I'm just trying to work out, um, I don't think I want there. Um, where else? We've got Albania as well. Quite a few Moldova, lower leagues in Albania, lower leagues in Moldova. So most of the um, Gibraltar's got a few. That's quite nice. I'm quite tempted to go there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for there. Let's have a look at these continental competitions first. And there is two. Oh, there's one. No, there's two. There is Channel One Cup. This is mainly for former Soviet Union areas. As you can see, we got um. Ukraine, Russia, and then Ukraine again there. So it's more along the lines of really just um, former Russian nation cups. And then the other one is the Baltic League, which is um, 
As you can see here, it's like Lithuania, Latvia, um, Estonia. I think it might just be those three nations, to be fair. Uh, but there's nations like that anyway, so um, it's not a big, massive thing. But uh, it's kind of just end of season one, really. Um, just seeing if I recognise some teams. Ulysses FC and Armenia, I recognise those one, that team. Um, there's quite a few others as well I recognise by name. So it'd be interesting if I could get some of those, but uh, Albas Albasani of the um, Albanian f top division, or first category, NSI in uh, Faroe Islands. Um, any others? With Santa Coloma, strongest team in Andorra. Is it the strongest team in Andorra? Yeah, one of the strongest teams in Andorra, at least, anyway. Um, so that could be cool. Um, but yeah, that is it, guys. So there we go. That's all the nations, all the teams. Um, work all that stuff out. Um, Luxembourg promotion division there. Gibraltar is where I'd like to go to. But if it doesn't happen, then so be it. So I'm going to go again, guys. I am going to pause it again. We'll apply for jobs. I'm not going to bother showing my interviews, to be fair. It's just the same old, same old. Um, but I will come back with the team that I get. Uh, go through some details with you for the teams. And then um, once that's done, we'll get cracking. So um, I will be back in two seconds, guys. Well then, guys. Here we go. We have a job at Moldovan Club Iskra Stal. Um, I did actually have quite a few job offers, to be fair. First one I got was um, these guys here. Albatrol Patos. Then it was Iskra Stal. Um, I did have a couple of others as well. Um, see if I can find them. These guys, no, not these guys, those guys. KS Liria Fache Kruja from Albania. Um, I did have another job interview approach um, from wherever they are. These guys. Intersport of Roma. I don't know how you bloody say that. Moldovan Divisia A. Which is actually above the Iskra style, but I actually rejected this because you can see right above it, Iskra style um, approached me, so I've got the job there. Um, not going to go through the meeting, can't be bothered. Uh, one thing, we'll have a look at Iskra style's history. It's just Iskra style, even. It's not that great. Moldovan Cup winners in 2011. Um, as you can see, they may have actually been, I believe that's the top one, I'm not too sure. But I believe that is actually the um, top division, just there. And yeah, that's the top division. So in 2009-2010, they were actually in the top division. Um, we'll go through that stuff in a minute. Quite a few players, thankfully. Um, they're all quite, uh, there's quite a few youngsters in there as well, actually. So I may need to bring some players in. Um, but we'll have to look at the uh, list. Quite a few players, quite a few youngsters are wanted. We'll have a look at the team report. Need a keeper. Um, I need quite a lot to be fair because the youngsters, I'll probably move the youngsters down a division. Or not a division, sorry, down a squad to the possibly the under 21s and the under 18s to be fair. Um, he's not bad. Great rated though. Under 18. Oh, un wow, okay. He's decent. Followed by Vissoria, who are not even a club. Uh, not in a division. Um, so we'll have to wait and see, actually, to be fair. If they're decent, they will play. It does look like a quite a few youngsters are decent. So, yeah, okay. So that's them. Moldova, Division B. Uh, okay, so one thing I did notice actually when not bloody hell. One thing I noticed when I was doing a, another version of this just to do a test run. Um, it's not really a full length season. This one is of sorts. This runs from uh, July to March, even though there's only nine, ten clubs. Um, one of the ones I did, I did a test run where I was in, oh, what nation was it? Nicaragua. 
again I only had 10 in the league we played each team twice and the actual league was over by December which was slightly annoying um, unfortunately that actually crashed just after that um, but yeah that is it guys actually I'm going I'm gonna be honest that's it there's not much else for me to go through showing you the team and everything like that so that is it for this episode guys leave some likes leave some comments subscribe would appreciate it tune in next time for a halfway stage review which will be four five six seven nine just there and of I, well in three months i played the first nine games and then in the space of five months i played the final nine um so that will be it for then I'm gonna go halfway through the season um we'll actually have a quick look at the confidence because i believe we are actually predicted to win the division and they want to get to the third round of the Moldovan Cup. Um, let me just have a look. Yep, media predictions first. So yeah, like I said guys, that is it for this episode. Tune in next time for a high halfway season review. See how we're doing, see uh, how close we are to the top or even if I'm still there. But until that time guys, as always, take care.